Jared from Asante Customs. Um, I haven't made a video in a while, but uh, I want to give you guys a quick little walk around of the Dodge since I haven't made a video yet on it. Um, this Dodge is a 2001 Dodge Ram 1500 39 V6 uh, two-wheel drive. Um, this truck was given to me by my uncle who had passed away, and uh, I've been doing everything I can to keep it nice. And uh, just do my little upgrades and stuff to it. It's nothing nothing too dramatic or anything. I just want to keep it looking nice. Um, the truck was bought originally by him back in uh, 2000. Two th yeah, 2001. Um, down in Texas. So this truck pretty much lived its whole life in Texas. We're up in New York now. And uh, he moved from Texas to Pennsylvania. He used this truck to move. It's a great truck. I love the truck personally. There's a couple little things that still need to be tweaked and the body is not the greatest, but there's no rust on it. So pretty much just a couple of dings and dents and stuff that are in the truck that I got to get sorted out. But here we go. We'll do the quick little walk around. All right. So now we're on the outside of the truck. You look here. Got my new halo headlights in it. Got my light bar. This whole grill here is going to be changed. The grill is going to be changed to a color matching one off of a Dodge Ram Sport. Uh, same with the bumper. The bumper is getting changed to a color matching one. So I got my light bar. Uh, the halos I haven't hooked up yet. Um, see there's some paint fading on it too from, from back in Texas. Also up there on the roof. Um, I'm going to get a shortened antenna just because I really don't like that. Um, the rims I actually got from my work at Pet Boys. Um, they are Proline Alloys, 17 inch rims. The stock size on this was 16. I also went with a cheap tire. I'm going to switch these out with some BFGs or something along the way. Um, those are Atsu All Terrains. They're the uh, AT 4000s. And a, uh, they're 245 70 17 that are on this now, which. I had to stretch the hell out of to get them to fit on these rims. They are a negative 12 offset. Gorgeous rims, I like them. I originally went for the chrome, or not the chrome, the uh, for the matte black ones, but um, we couldn't order them, so I said, you know what, I really need the rims, so I said, screw it, you know, we'll just, we'll just go with the chrome. And I am so happy I went with the chrome. Um, it is a single cab short box. Um, the toolbox here, um, it's going to get sandblasted and painted over um, to color match the truck. It's either that or I take the box off and uh, I put a towel cover on it. But I also have to sandblast the inside of the box and, um, you know, I want to rhino line it and everything else. But just a quick little side view over there. Um, these taillights um, actually... My buddy had a set on his F-150, and I absolutely loved them. Um, I actually got these on Amazon for pretty cheap. They're about $120. These here are the taillights. I absolutely love these. They, uh, the brake light is inside of here. Your running light is inside of here. Your blinker also runs off of this. Um, I also have LED reverse lights. Uh, I love the look of these taillights. These taillights are absolutely beautiful. Um, this is a little part here that I was talking about that the body work. I'm putting a new bumper on it. Um, it got rear-ended or he had backed into something. This wasn't my doing, but <laughs> it happened wherever he worked last. I also got a dual exhaust. It doesn't look even right now because of the way the bumper is. It actually hangs down a couple inches because it's so dented. Um, but uh, yeah, it's got the dual exhaust on it. I bought that off of eBay. Uh, that was $114. That comes with the um, dual over over axle, the over axle cat back duals, and it comes with a um, single inlet dual outlet cherry bomb stream. Love the sound of it. It sounds so good. Um, this side here, still got to do some body work. That needs another couple coats of clear. But there was a big huge rust spot here and here. Um, so I had to fix that. That's just a temporary job there. A couple little minor things that the body needs to go over but um also on the interior i'm not going to show you right now just because the interior is all gross and i haven't had time to clean it um i also have a sony explode head deck 
um, two pile 10 inch subs running off a of Boss 1100 watt amplifier. Um, I got two, what the hell are they called? They're the 500 watt kicker, uh, six by nines in the doors. Haven't changed the back ones yet. Um, blue LED lighting. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's about it for the Dodge. Um, haven't done much motor work to it yet, but I have plans and stuff for it. I don't know if I'm really going to get into it. But uh, stick around for my next video. Um, I'm going to do a walk around of the Yukon, that pile of junk. Um, so that is getting a LS swap out of my donor truck, which is a 2000 Chevy Silverado that has a 4.8 liter LS. So stick around for that video. You'll see me and my dad working on that project. Uh, that will be in a couple later episodes, though, because funds and time and stuff to get it done. But uh, we're playing in the next couple months or so. We're going to start pulling the motor out of the red truck, pulling the motor out of the uh, Yukon. Yukon's a 93. I hate the transmission in it. I hate the motor in it. The motor actually is locked up, so, you know, we got to try to figure that out. But <laughs> All right, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Like the video, subscribe, there will be a lot more to come. Thank you.